Superbugs have become the bane of Western medicine, virulent new bacteria, resistant to antibiotics, spreading like the plague. Over the past decade, we've seen strains of bacteria evolve to become increasingly resistant to antibiotics. These superbugs, which can survive outside the body in harsh hospital environments, risk infecting vulnerable patients with lowered immune systems. We've already seen the devastating effects that a superbug can have, and if we don't understand how these pathogens work and how to stop them, we might find ourselves living in a world where antibiotics don't work at all. We've been warned about the rise of superbugs for more than 20 years. We either act now or face a frightening future. My name's Georgia Shering. I studied the Master of Biomedical Science at the University of Melbourne. My research took place at the Peter Doherty Institute for Infection and Immunity, and during my research project, I investigated how a particular antibiotic-resistant strain of bacteria called methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus has evolved over time. I used whole genome sequencing of nearly 400 bacteria to look deeper into the evolutionary background of this strain and characterise its genome, comparing my Australian isolates to the global collection. I researched how it behaves and how resistant it is to last-line antibiotics. Pathogens like this are already a significant threat to public health. It's a race against the clock to understand the epidemiology of these bacteria and prevent superbugs from breaking out of hospitals, spreading and having a catastrophic effect. I always found biology really interesting, all throughout school, which is why I gravitated towards genomics when I began studying at Uni Melb. But simultaneously, I had this interest in public health. Throughout COVID and my master's, I worked in an admin role in hospitals. I got to see the other end of what I was researching. Then one day I found this book. It's a series of sci-fi short stories, but what it explained really well were real scientific ideas that anybody could understand, even without a background in science. It got me thinking about how we, as scientists, can communicate complex ideas to the public and actually translate all of that knowledge and research into something that can help people. I started a role as a surveillance officer in antimicrobial resistance and genomics at the Victorian Department of Health. A lot of my work is kind of like uncovering a mystery. We work across the surveillance network, managing, compiling and analysing different types of data to track antimicrobial resistance. We collaborate with public health laboratories and researchers to share data and understand how we can adapt public health actions to stop the spread of these pathogens. There's this key idea of antimicrobial stewardship, prescribing the right antibiotics at the right time. Being able to take trends in antibiotic resistance and share that information with doctors helps them make informed decisions, stopping the spread of resistant bacteria. Working with so many types of professionals, your job is really like being a translator. How effectively we communicate the science directly impacts public health actions. What we need in the present day to address these complex global health problems are professionals equipped with a niche set of skills. It really just makes me happy that I could choose a path that's right for me and contribute to something really grand that's happening in our world.